Hey, good morning friends. Welcome back to this vlog about the Holy Week. Today is Monday Thursday in the Holy Week. And on this day we remember that Jesus installed what we now call the Lord's Supper or Holy Communion. And also that he went to the Garden of Gethsemane to pray and spend time with his Father. Now, um, you should know that Jesus on this day celebrated the Pesach festival or the Passover festival. And this festival is a festival or is a time, is a celebration where the Jews remember that God made an end to their slavery in Egypt and that he led them out of Egypt, known as the Exodus. And as they celebrated this, as they still do today, the Jews gather around the table and eat together a special meal. And this meal contains four cups of wine or four cups of grape juice. And along with these cups there would be some specific food or some specific prayer or something uh, special. And so let me briefly explain these uh, four cups because it helps us understand um, the story of Jesus and the Last Supper. So the first cup would be the cup of bitterness. They would drink some of the wine or some of the juice and at the same time they would eat bitter herbs and they would remember their bitterness and the hard work and the slavery in Egypt. Then the second cup was eaten along with what we call unleavened bread. And we know those today as matzahs. I actually have some here. This is a circle one. You also have them in the shape of a square. And this is unleavened bread. As you see it as kind of almost a cracker. And this remembers um, and reflects and symbolizes the bread that the Jews had to eat on the last night before going out of Egypt. Because there was no time for the dough to rise. There was no time to leaven the bread. They had to eat it quickly to be able to get out of the country. And so it refers to the Exodus. Then the third cup is called the cup of praise. Where people would praise God and thank him for what he has done for them. Then there's going to be a fourth cup, but in between the third and the fourth cup, they would sing songs. They would sing songs of praise known as the Hallel. They would sing Psalm 113 to 118 plus Psalm 136. Those are all psalms of praise and worship and giving thanks to God. And then finally they would drink the fourth cup, which is the cup of salvation. And with this cup, they would ask God to bring about salvation to their land and to their people again. Now, with that in mind, I will also put it down below in the description of the, vi of the video so you can uh, have a read and go through it again. With that in mind, let us read uh, Mark 14 from verse 22 to 26. While they were eating, Jesus took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take it, this is my body. Then he took a cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, and they all drank from it. This is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many, he said to them. Truly I tell you, I will not drink again from the fruit of the vine until that day when I drink it new in the kingdom of God. When they had sung a hymn, they went out to the Mount of Olives. So Jesus and his disciples are eating the Passover meal, they're eating the Pesach meal, they're going through the cups, and when they arrive at the second cup, Jesus takes bread, and he breaks it, and he gives it to them, and he says, this is my body that is broken for you. And then he continues, he goes to the third cup, which is the cup of praise, and he says, this is the cup that is poured out for the forgiveness of sins, this is my blood. And then, remember, they had to go and sing the songs. They had to sing the Hallel. And that's what they do. But pay attention, because verse 26 says, When they had sung a hymn, they went out to the Mount of Olives. 
So they sing a hymn, they sing one of the songs of the Hallel. And they do not drink the fourth cup, but they go out to the Mount of Olives. And we know that on this Mount of Olives, Jesus goes into the Garden of Gethsemane and that he prays to his Father. And he prays, Father, if possible, let this cup pass me. This fourth cup is the cup of salvation. And we know that Jesus brought about salvation through his suffering and through his death. Because Jesus says, Lord, you are going to bring about salvation, but if possible, let this cup pass me by. Isn't that interesting? That Jesus is using all these elements of the Pesach meal and applies it to himself and gives it more meaning, gives it more significance. Beautiful, isn't it? Now, Jews today still observe the Pesach meal. They still... Um, eat it and drink it and go through all the things. They have added in another element which is called the afikoman and they take some of the unleavened bread and they break it um, and then afterwards they put it back in a cloth or in a, in a sack and then the kids can um, go and look for it and search it or they hide it or even kids can steal it. Uh, my friend Omer referred me to this. Uh, it is interesting. Messianic Jews they see this tradition and they say, well, it is the, the body of Jesus that has been broken. And when they put it back in the sack or in the cloth, they remember Jesus being put in the grave. And when they take it out again to eat it, they remember the resurrection. If you like this and you want to know more about Jewish customs and about the historical setting of Passover, of Holy Week, of Easter, then my friend Omer he is um, going to do a virtual tour tomorrow night on April 10th at 8 o'clock Central European time and you're welcome to join. Omer is a professional tour guide in Israel, in Jerusalem and especially in the Garden Tomb. Due to the current circumstances with Corona he is not able to be in Jerusalem. He's with us in Belgium and he is going to give us a virtual tour of Jerusalem and see the historic places where the events happened. There's also time to ask questions and he will try and answer as best as he can. I invite you, join with us and let's explore Jerusalem together with Omer. If you'd like to do so, um, send me an email on aipchurch at tailornet.be. I will uh, Put it down in the description so you can find it because you'll need a password to be able to get into the zoom uh, meeting we are uh, doing uh, stay tuned have a blessed thursday and i'm looking forward to seeing you back tomorrow for another video as well as in the evening to join us as we explore jerusalem together let us quickly pray thank the lord and then i'm wishing you a wonderful day let's pray Father God, we thank you for the beautiful gift of Passover and Pesach and your son Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you that you saved your people from slavery and brought them into freedom, brought them into the promised land. Lord, we thank you for your son Jesus Christ, who frees us from the slavery of sin and that he brings us into the promised land. And that one day we will feast with you and with him in the house of Zion. We will be with you forever and ever. God, be with us today and bless us. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, everybody, have a good day. Um, leave your comments down below, share the video, and stay tuned for another one tomorrow. Join us on the Jerusalem tour, and see you soon. Bye-bye.